Hey folks, in today's video, we're going to show you how to use a new feature, Slack for Agents. The reason we built this feature is because we know that whilst there are so many tools that you desperately want to use, the reality is, unless they seamlessly integrate into the place that you spend the most time, Slack, you'll probably never use them. So in this video, I'll walk you through how to set up a Slack trigger so you can trigger your agent to start a task directly from Slack and also how to have a full conversation in Slack. Let's get going. So to start off with, you're going to want to go to one of your agents to set up the Slack trigger. So I have Derek, the customer discovery expert, and by setting up a Slack trigger, this will mean that I can trigger that agent to start a task directly from Slack. Now, I've already set one up here, but I can edit it to show you what it looks like. When you set up your trigger, you'll see this modal and it will ask you to select the channel that you want to trigger your agent in and any keywords that you want to use to filter. Um, things to know here, you're going to need to invite the Relevance AI app into your Slack workspace, and then you'll need to invite that app to your specific Slack channel. Uh, it's called out here. And then specifically, we do recommend you set up a channel and a keyword with your trigger. If you don't, then any time at Relevance AI is mentioned in your workspace, this agent is going to trigger, which is probably not a good thing. So in this example, I've set the channel to Slack demo and the keyword is Hey Derek. This means if there are multiple agents in the Slack demo channel, that at Relevance AI won't trigger my agent every time. Only when Hey Derek is mentioned will it trigger. As a quick introduction to this agent, Derek is a customer discovery expert who has an integration with a Google Doc. Now, Google Doc is where we store all of our customer discovery information. This one in particular was on our voice agent that we shipped a few weeks ago, and it has all of the information from those calls that can be easily called upon by anyone in Slack. Now I'm in Slack, all I need to do is at relevant say I, hey Derek, and I can ask any question I like. Let's try it out. Okay, now I've asked my agent a simple question that I couldn't quite remember the answer to whilst uh, doing our solutions. So I've just added it in Slack and in the next five or 10 seconds, it will come back with its answers directly in Slack. Okay, our agent has responded and we can immediately see some of the reasons why a voice agent was in demand. Specifically, some of our customers are often driving and therefore can't type uh, and others are actually on the field in sports uh, where typing isn't as feasible. If I have any follow-up questions, I can also have a conversation with it directly in the thread and it will respond in the same way. So let's do that now. And there you can see the instant response from the agent to my follow-up question. And actually looking at that second point, knowledge bases, that is a perfect use case for Slack triggers. In this example, you can connect your agent to your data sources such as customer FAQs and your team can simply ask the agent questions that may typically come to you, freeing up your time and getting your team instant responses.